The absolute best thing about having a shawarma street is that as soon as you finish one shawarma, you can go right next door and have another shawarma. <laughs> there is all the beef in here, there are tomatoes, and then this one is tahini inside of here. Oh yeah. That is just ridiculous. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Amman, Jordan. Today we have a full schedule. We are hanging out with Fadi and Farah and we are gonna eat a lot of food and I know we're gonna do a lot of sightseeing today in Amman. So stay tuned for a full day of doing things in Amman. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. For breakfast today, we're at a restaurant called Shams Al Balad. And this is a modern cafe, but they serve traditional food and it's in a traditional style house. And so it's a really nice environment. They have a nice open kitchen downstairs and they really specialize in kind of wholesome, organic, and fresh and local ingredients. <laughs> How is that, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that they are famous for selling here is called manakish, which is bread toasted with some different toppings on it and then toasted, kind of like Arabic pizza. So this one is, they have sliced it into pieces and this one includes, looks like there's some tomatoes on the bottom, then eggplant, a layer of eggplant, and then cheese, and then I think this is this fresh. Is Time. Oh, and olives on there as well. Let's check out that layer of cheese. You can just see how creamy it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that cheese is salty and creamy. A little bit sour. And then I also bit into the an olive, so that has like a a salty olive taste with, yeah, with a little bit of a bitterness to it. This olive is actually, yeah, some people call it the prince of the table. Okay. So, not just this kind of olive, but different kinds of olives because it blends into everything. I'm gonna take one of these pieces of cheese. Let me take a piece of the bread. Wow, this is really thick and feels really soft on the inside, this bread. I'm gonna grab that piece of cheese. Oh yeah. It's kind of like halloumi cheese. It sort of has a little bit of elasticity that you can feel in your teeth. And then it's, it's quite salty to make it go really well with the bread. I don't know if I've ever tasted olives so fragrant and so packed with flavor. They're salty, but you know like 100% you're eating an olive. Next up, I'm gonna try the makdus. And this is eggplant, which is filled with nuts, and then it is preserved in olive oil. And so this is also good to eat with bread. I'm gonna put a little bit of this onto my plate with some of that olive oil. I think I'm so excited for this food that I take too big of bites. <laughs> but but I wanna I wanna make smaller bites so that I really get to taste in and um, see the ingredients. Oh, wow. It's wonderful. It's a little bit sour. It's creamy. The nuts are crisp. And then the eggplant. It is so so creamy and soft and garlicky. Okay, so this is labane with this. Laban or labane? Laban. This is huerne, which is a herb that's uh, grown in this region. Actually, looking forward to, to hear what you're going to have to say about this. I don't know. It's To me, I don't really know how to describe it. It's disturbing. This mix me, mixes me up. So let's see what you it's think just of a, it. It's a very unique. Taste. Mm. All right, I gotta try some of that. 
So this is a, a local herb that is grown and then it is mixed with some yogurt and olive oil. It's a very green smell to it. It's almost, it almost has an aroma similar to if you were to grab a handful of grass and just smell that very green, earthy smell right from that grass. Mm. What is that taste? It almost has a little bit of a wasabi, a horseradish taste to it. And then just wrapped in yogurt and olive oil. We are driving to the Citadel, which is up on the hill, and it's one of the most historically important and significant landmarks and attractions in Amman. The area of Amman has been inhabited for thousands of years, and there are traces of history in the city that date back to when it was first called Rabat Amon, which where it was inhabited by the Ammonites. A citadel is kind of the high area that is used for governing and you can see the entire area and you can get a glimpse, a bird's eye view of what's going on. And so walking around this area and seeing the view of Amman and the city below and the, the rolling hills, you can just really get a sense of it's an incredible feeling to be up here and to to view the whole city from up here and then be surrounded by various ruins we are walking up now to the temple of hercules which is right here and it was built between 161 and 166 this is what remains of the hand of hercules which is how they know this was the temple of hercules one of the amazing things about this entire site are the many layers of history and civilizations which are piled on top of each other. From the Ammonites to the uh, Byzantine and the Romans and the Greeks, they all have left their mark and their construction on this site. We are walking into the back entrance of the governor's palace now. Oh, that's a cold breeze from this tunnel. From the Citadel, we just drove down the hill and we are gonna cross the street to the amphitheater. This is traditional Jordanian uh, Dance we call uh, Yes. And this amphitheater holds up to 6,000 people. And another thing that I think is really cool about this amphitheater is that it's not just an ancient site, it is still used today in in a variety of different concerts and some boys here are singing and performing and so I'm gonna go climb up the stairs and get a view from up at the top. I made it up to the very top level at the amphitheater and you can see all of the levels down below and it is amazing how the sound carries. The group of boys is so far down there, but you can hear them quite clearly up here. And the sound just, just moves through the wind up these bleachers. We are now taking a walk through downtown Amman. Uh-huh. Okay. One of the things that I have never eaten, and they are in season in Jordan right now, are green almonds. And so these are fresh almonds, and there is just a pile of almonds behind me. You can buy them by the kilo, and then you can either take them away, or you can just kind of stand here and start eating them. There's a bag of salt sitting on top of the pile of almonds, which you can dip in. I'm gonna get a little bit of a little bit of salt. Oh, and well, that might be too much salt. The the whole almond is kind of fuzzy. It has a fuzzy kind of like a peach. And so that just like uh, caked up salt on there. I think that might be a little too much. I'll brush off a little bit. Mm. Oh, wow. That is sour. The inside of it is the actual 
almond seed. But then there's like um, different layers of skin. It almost tastes like a green apple. Wow. That is really, really good. Oh, that is a, a snack food right there. You could just snack on a whole bag of these. We are walking through the central downtown fruit and vegetable market. And this is one of the oldest markets in Amman. Look at this incredible pile of tomatoes and vegetables and... You can actually smell the herbs and the different vegetables and fruits in this market as well. Thank you. Oh yeah, they are still fresh and warm. And lightly salted. Oh. Peanuts are one of my favorite snacks. He's making a sweet snack called Karabi Shalem. And it's kind of like a churro. Wow, that is really, really sweet. And it has sort of a floral, sugary syrup aroma to it. Like, snip it, snip it open. Okay. And then you get this. Wow, that's a big bean. Yeah, and then you eat it. And then you eat it. So you can eat them raw or roasted or yeah, it's however. Yeah, like to pass the time. This is a raw fava bean. Oh yeah, that's really good. It is very juicy and has a little bit of a chalky texture to it. That is my kind of a market. It is wonderful to walk around and explore. I love the different colors of all the fruits and vegetables, the aromas, and then all of the different sounds. A lot of the vendors um, just rhythmically call out what they're selling as well as the prices at what they're selling. We're at a corner juice shop and they make a number of different types of juice, but one of the popular juices is fresh squeezed sugarcane juice. So they have this big machine, have stacks of sugar cane which are grown in the Jordan Valley, and then they squeeze it fresh, and you can see how frothy that is. Oh yeah, that is very sweet, but it's also very cool and refreshing. Fadi is buying some white shirts. <laughs> That's awesome that he has an office chair on the side of the road. And he's, he was saying that these are from Syria. That's why I stopped because the Syrian cotton is very well known to be very good quality. So I got two. Each one is for one Jordanian dinar which is equivalent of 1.5 US dollars. Wow, yeah. That's so a good deal. That's a very good deal. For 100% cotton. Just arrived to the legendary Habiba, which is one of the most well-known sweet shops in downtown Amman. They are very well known for selling kanafe, which is a sweet dessert I'm about to try. And you can, we just arrived here, and you can immediately smell the aroma of cardamom coming out of the door. And it's a very interesting and ancient dessert. It's actually made with a layer of cheese. I'm not sure if it's baked, but then it has a kind of a golden yellow crust on the top and then it's finally finished with some crushed pistachios. Mm. Oh wow, that's like... That's kind of like a cross between a sweet and a savory dessert. You've got that cheese which tastes... which kind of has a, an elasticity, like melted mozzarella. But then you've got this like crispy, sweet, kind of like pie layer. Kind of tastes like crumbly caramel because when you, when you bite it, it sort of sticks in your teeth. We've had quite a few snacks already, but we are now sitting down for our full lunch at a restaurant called Sufra. And this restaurant is housed in an old house. It has an antique feel to it. This is a nicer restaurant. We got so many different dishes on the table. This is another impressive spread of food. These are little grape leaf rolls called wara enap. And they are filled with rice and you can see that olive oil on them as well. <laughs> mm. 
incredible. It's served cold, it's kind of soaking in olive oil, but that gives it a really um, moist and just a lovely texture. And it's also quite sour. This one is, it's like some braised chicken. Um, these are boneless pieces of chicken in a sauce that is made up of olive oil. There are some chilies in here and lots of onions. And then there are nuts, both almonds and pine nuts. And maybe some pepper in here too. Mm -hmm. I think it does have a little bit of a, maybe cinnamon or a, mm, like a cinnamon sweetness to it. But then the onions have just been slow cooked in that oil, that olive oil, so they just sort of melt in your mouth. It's just meat down there, yes. Mm. Oh wow. And that's all tahini sauce yes. in it? Yes. Okay. And is that potato it's on the top? The, the meat, Whoa. yes. The meat is kind of like kebab. Because it's minced meat with uh, parsley. And then all of that sauce is tahini, which is sesame, a sesame seed paste. So that entire gravy is sesame paste. Let me add a little bit more of that tahini to, to increase the the flavor. Wow. That's unbelievable. It has that same shish kebab kind of spice mixed flavor in it. Maybe some herbs in there. From the appearance, it looks like this could be like a cream sauce gravy. But it's much, much different because it's tahini. And so it has more of that um, kind of bean nutty flavor and texture to it. This one is an eggplant salad. Look at that presentation. There is roasted pieces of eggplant on the bottom here. And then this is feta cheese on the top. And then just a host of, I think there's a chili sauce. There are diced up cherry tomatoes on here. Set this down. Oh, I gotta have a bite with that tomato. And maybe drizzle a little more of that olive oil on. This is just a pretty colorful dish. Oh, look at, oh, a little pepper on there. Oh, wow. That eggplant is creamy and smoky. And then that feta cheese is kind of more salty and sour. With every meal, you get a plate of pickled vegetables. And so here they have a plate of vegetables and they are purple. Some of them are purple, like the purple cauliflower. And so they are made purple because of beetroot. Mm. Yeah. Sour and salty. You can see the tomatoes in there. You can see slices of garlic. And let me put a little bit of this down. And I think this will go really good with some bread. Tear a piece of the bread. That just totally highlights and focuses on tomatoes. At this restaurant, they really specialize in home-cooked style food, but using really good quality ingredients. Uh, it's more of a higher-end restaurant, but a really nice place to sit and to relax, hang out, and enjoy a wonderful meal. We are still on Al Rainbow Street, and we just stopped by for a street food of steamed fava beans and there's another kind of bean also and I think they're just steamed and then he dished them into a little tin and then put some salt on them. Mm. These are the same beans that are used for fool. Then a couple of these. Oh, those are served cold and they're kind of like soybeans. This is a very hearty snack. If you were to eat this whole uh, tin full of the beans, you would that would definitely be filling. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's just like hearty, salty bean protein. Our next stop is what is unofficially known as Shawarma Street. And I think you only come to this street 
if you want to eat shawarma and we want to eat shawarma. There are about eight, maybe more, different shawarma stalls. We have chosen to first eat a chicken shawarma. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is name? what is my name is Mark. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mohammed. Mohammed. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. Are you going to eat a chicken shawarma? Oh, yes, the shawarma. Okay. <laughs> We're all here to eat chicken shawarma. He took a piece of bread and then he added in some tomatoes and some pickles and some tahini and then scooped on some freshly sliced chicken cooked on the spit. And what you do is you just tear off some of the paper because otherwise it can get really messy and you want to keep it all wrapped up like this. That chicken is tender, but it has a really wonderful roasted flavor to it. And the sauce used is like a garlicky, creamy sauce. To try a different type of chicken shawarma, they also have another shawarma restaurant, which is actually located right next to the shawarma restaurant we just ate that shawarma from. And they make a chicken shawarma that is roasted over charcoal. And instead of on a vertical spit, it's on a horizontal spit. That definitely has a different flavor. The chicken is more crispy and it almost tastes like meat, like steak. Really smoky flavored and you can taste that kind of real roasted, slow roasted charcoal flavor to it. Fadi has just ordered us some beef shawarma from a place called Dream, which is one of the most well-known names in beef shawarma in Amman. What, what's interesting is that they cook it on that hot fire and you can see those crispy edges and then they shave it really thin so it's crispy and salty and a little bit oily. It's just perfect. This is the fat from the beef itself. Oh, it's not... Look at that. Look at that crunchiness, that golden crunchiness on that meat. Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> that is so good. And then this is added with, let's see, there is all the beef in here, there are tomatoes, and then this one is tahini inside of here. Oh yeah. That is just ridiculous. It's crunchy, it's beefy, it's so flavorful. And then with the addition of that tahini, it gives it a nutty creaminess. the perfect way to end this fantastic day of eating and sightseeing in Amman. Tomorrow we have another day ahead of us. We are taking a day trip and so we are back at the hotel now. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos and I'll see you tomorrow for another day in Jordan.